Ready for the next guided tour? Please position the pointer to point to what else is in the menus. Be sure it is pointing to what else is in the menus. Now listen to the three tones and click the mouse button as soon as you hear the third tone. several times already. The commands in the file menu are very useful in opening documents, getting information about them, or filing them away. The file menu also has a print command. You can use this command when you have an Apple Image Writer printer attached to your Macintosh and when you want to get a printed copy of some document. And there's the eject command to eject the disk from the disk drive. You'll use this command on your system disk. You'll eject your guided tour disk by clicking I am ready to stop on the guided tour screen. In the view menu, there are commands which help you view the objects on your disk in a number of different ways. You can view them by icon as they are now, or by name as they will be next. Or you can view them by date, or by size. With the few objects we have here, this may not seem very important right now but you'll appreciate it later when it helps you sort out and remember your numerous and scattered documents. The Finder and all other applications on your Macintosh also come equipped with a menu which has an apple as its title. This menu contains objects called desk accessories. You can choose these accessories to appear on your desktop on top of whatever you might have there. These include a clock. Choose clock and you have the date and the time displayed in a very elegant little clock. The Apple menu also has a calculator which works like any other calculator. You can have several desk accessories on top of any windows you may have open. But only one accessory is active at any time. You know which one is active by looking at the title bar. The title of the active one is highlighted. You activate the one you want just like the window by clicking anywhere in it. You can also move these accessories around by pointing at the title bar of the active one and dragging. Again, just like the window. And you can close them by clicking on the close box. Another desk accessory is the control panel, which helps you set your Macintosh to work just the way you would like it to. If you would like to change the volume of the warning beep, adjust it here. To change the pattern on your desktop, click on the dots here and then click on the desktop icon next to it. If you change your mind, click on the dots again and change it back. You can also change the time by clicking on it and adjusting it up or down. And you can change the date the same way. The desk accessories on your Macintosh are both useful and fun. Experiment with them and discover on your own what very useful tasks your Macintosh is capable of. We'll quit this part of the tour now and go back to the guided tour screen so that you can do just that. If you would like to practice what you've learned, please click on Let Me Use My Macintosh. 